We are really in a quite extraordinary situation. Yesterday it was announced, as many of you will already know, that Julian Assange has been awarded the Sydney Peace Prize for 2011 and a gold medal that goes with it, a gold medal that's been conferred by the Sydney Peace Prize Committee only on two previous occasions and one of those occasions was to Nelson Mandela. On the other side, uh, we have statements like that Peter just referred to by a former Republican presidential candidate in the United States who called for Julian Assange to be tried and executed. So much for fair trial and the rule of law. What we need, I think, is uh, now the sort of clarity that our six speakers tonight have um, cast on this um, difficult, contentious and very worrying debate. I'd like, in conclusion now, to call on Robert Starry, who is Julian Assange's Australian lawyer, to speak with you a little bit about um, Julian's defence and his legal defence fund. Spencer. Uh, well, we're certainly fortified by the support that we've had for um, Julian Assange um, internationally, but particularly in Australia, and the pre-recorded presentation that Julian provided um, gives you some insight to the appreciation that he has for the strength of that support within Australia, and in particular Melbourne. Um, this is an issue that clearly resonates within the community. Um, you can appreciate from what you've heard from each of the speakers tonight that the defence of Julian Assange is no simple matter. Every attempt to provide funding for him through the various financial institutions has been curtailed um, and uh, the running of his defence is an expensive process, no matter how much of the work is done either pro bono or at a reduced fee. And let me tell you um, that the resources of the various states, particularly the US, Sweden and the UK um, are uh, vast in their numbers. In order that we provide some sort of adequate defence um, to Julian Assange, we do require assistance. And those of, the, of, you, of you that can contribute, we look to you to be able to do so. Um, and we ask that um, there are a number of forms that are available uh, for that contribution to take place and the manners in which they can take, take place. Um, the funds that are not used in his defence, there's an option of allowing them to be used for the further work of WikiLeaks. Um, if the funds aren't, uh, it, it's not your um, uh, desire to, to um, allow those funds to be used by WikiLeaks, then the funds will be returned to you um, and there's the capacity to do so. If we are to mount a, a, an adequate defence for Julian Assange, we need your support and I ask that if you are able to financially contribute to do so, um, Julian will be provided with the um, video or the DVD of what's occurred tonight. He might be watching it um, streaming on the Get Up website, let's hope so. Um, but um, as I said, we can't resist the forces of uh, the various international actors unless we um, are sufficiently resourced to do so. So I ask that you assist in whatever way you can. Thank you. It remains only for me to say three things. Um, first, I'd like to thank um, particularly those people who are now standing in the pouring rain in Federation Square still listening to these proceedings. You are now free to go home. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to uh, say a special thanks to each of the organisations who came together to sponsor this evening's proceedings. Liberty Victoria, the Australian Lawyers for Human Rights, Future Leaders, the Victorian Trades Hall Council, the Media Entertainment and Arts Alliance, the Law Institute of Victoria and Get Up.
This has been a tremendous collaboration and we hope will be the first of only many as we fight the free speech issues about which we've been speaking this evening. Thank you very much for coming and we hope to see you at future events.